good morning. I'm out here a little earlier than I have been the probably like the past month. It's 8 a.m. I wanted to be out at 7, but I got to bed late getting my video ready, so I just I couldn't get up, y'all. <clears throat> Not the best excuse, but that's what I'm working with. <laughs> I have my coffee that I made. I only drank half a cup at home because I was trying to get out um, because I'm like five miles from Publix. So I wanted to try and leave as quickly as possible to try and get some Instacarts this morning and then in the afternoon I'm going to be heading to Apopka for a couple hours. So hopefully today will be a goal hitting day. I don't know though. I don't know if I'll have to go into Claremont this morning to try and get some and turn on Corner Shop or what. But I am on DoorDash so... The hotspots for that are actually in Claremont, but I was trying to stay closer to home so I don't have to go all the way into Claremont, but if I have to, I will. I'm not going to just stay in Groveland and not get any orders, you know? Um, but if you're ready for the day, then I am going to be back once I get my first order of the day. A young boy being a dream. And in the dream... So I pulled up to Publix and I see some people sitting in their car. So I'm pretty sure they're Instacart people. Um, it does say that it's going to be a 30 minute wait probably because there's other shoppers in my area. And I have DoorDash on like I said. So I got a DoorDash for Burger King and I haven't been to this Burger King in a long time. Um, they're not the greatest over here. But if um, there's nothing on Instacart because I'm on the Instacart screen then you know what you might as well take the DoorDash for the it's two miles and change for $6.50 so I'm gonna head in and grab it because it's in the Publix Plaza so I didn't have to go far y'all and it's going to the neighborhoods behind Publix so that's another good thing it's not very far at all Okay, cut through Burger King. That order was ready and sitting on the warmer. Maybe it's early, that's why it was ready. I don't know. Uh, or they just got their stuff together. Could be that too. Um, they left me very specific instructions to park in the street, put it on the table, don't ring the bell. So I'm assuming somebody's sleeping or they're working and they don't want no noise. Maybe they have dogs that'll bark, which will wake up a kid. I don't know. All those things could be at play. So I'm heading for the delivery anyways. I gotta hit directions because I didn't even do that yet. 2.1 miles, y'all. Perfect. So after I dropped this off, I already have my next order. It was a shop only order. Y'all, they sent a $50 order, $49 and change. But it was a bunch of items for three different people and it was like 20 miles. I really don't understand why they do that. Um, because there's a Publix way closer that that could have got sent to. So I, I really don't understand it. Maybe they sent it and then nobody was over there. That's why they're trying to just give it to wherever the shoppers are at. I don't know. But the order is for $9.37. 16 items, 16, 17 units. There was another one for the same amount of items. And it was $8 and change. So I don't know how that works. That's very strange to me. Same items, same item count. Not same items, but same item amount. And then same total item count. But the, uh, there was a dollar difference. Um, so I'm going to head to the Publix as soon as I drop this off. I'm 500 feet away. I was supposed to turn there. Ah, you know what? Let me just keep going straight and then I'll go. I'll turn at this one. It's all connected.
So I got that done and I think I waited about almost 20 minutes for another order to pop up. But yeah, I think like 20 minutes, y'all. Um, it's a shop only order again for 14 items, 14 units for $8.93. So that's pretty good. The last one, of course, now I'm getting a DoorDash order for Walgreens. Five dollars for 4.9 miles so that's gonna be a no because that's absolutely trash that's barely a dollar a mile so no i'll take the eight dollars and 93 cents for the 14 items so i waited another little bit for my next order but i gotta shop only for one item for six dollars and change so i'm about to go ahead in and do that it's 6.97 so almost seven dollars one item it's right up front it's like stuff for your eye the solution for your contacts so i'm gonna head in grab that and get back online quickly Orders up i don't think i waited that long this time last one was at 10 16 this one was at 10 35 so like 15 minutes um yeah i don't know maybe that's wrong math i can't think right now i don't even remember what i just said um, but for four items, four units for seven twenty-eight. So I'm gonna head in Publix and grab that. It's gonna be probably three different aisles or four different aisles, but that's okay. It's gonna be quick. I'm gonna be in and out in I'm gonna say ten minutes. Ten fifty, and I'm back in the car right now. My Instacart is at thirty-two dollars and fifty-five cents, and I had seven dollars from DoorDash. My dash did end. I wasn't able to extend it. So I'm at almost $40, which is not bad. Um, I've been out for eight, almost three hours. So a little over $10 an hour so far. I'm hoping up I can keep this pace. Um, and then probably around 11.30, um, I'll be done and head home. And then we're all heading to Apopka later. All right, you guys so i'm gonna try and go over yesterday really quick um i know this is a super short video i did not stay out very long at all yesterday uh, i was out from probably about 8 to 11 11 i went inside and started shopping for myself from publix um, because i needed to get a couple things and there was only one order the whole time i was in there and somebody snagged it and i actually saw him around shopping it was a small shop only but i didn't get it y'all the plan was to come home and then wait for patients to finish with her test and then go to a popka for a couple hours. But her test took a little longer, so I took a nap while she was doing that. And we didn't get to a popka till like five. So I only got one order in and it was actually from Sprouts, y'all. I've never been to Sprouts, that was my first time. So I'm happy that it was a low amount of items um, but for 22, well, it started out as $19.11 for 3.2 miles, 12 items, 17 units. Perfect. I've never been to Sprouts. I thought that was really good. Plus I had my little helpers. So I'm like, you know what? We can get this. I had like five minutes or four minutes left. We couldn't find the last item. So we, we asked somebody and well, we asked somebody about two things. In the beginning, we asked somebody about something and they're like, oh no, we don't carry that. We found it, y'all. And then um, we asked about some pita bread. We found all the bread, but we didn't see the one pita bread we needed. So we asked somebody if they had any more and they were like, no. So I messaged with the customer. She approved what I grabbed anyways, thank God, because I was already in line. She's like, oh yeah, you can just grab the bigger pack for the whatever. Um, but when I hit start shopping, the total went to $21.02 for 14 items, 20 units. Um, I did not get the two pita breads because they didn't have it. So I got one big pita bread. So I don't know if that changed the total because everything else was right. Maybe the, no, because the weight was more than what she wanted for the geeks. I don't know. But I got $22.80 and it was different. I think she increased the tip herself a little bit afterwards um, because it was $20 and she gave me two more dollars. So that was really nice of her. Um, so Sprouts is in a popka, y'all, which is super exciting. Um, 
not for me as much because I'm not over there anymore. Um, but it's kind of like, dang, do I want to go to a pop car every once in a while to see um, how I could do? Um, everything was busy yesterday, so it just didn't work out. We went to a popka to meet with um, our aunt to go grocery shopping with her. Um, but yesterday I made $62.35, and that's for, I would say, like five hours of my time. I know Instacart says I was online for like seven and a half, but I don't think that's right. Um, I think I forgot it on yesterday for a period of time because they're like, are you still online? And I'm like, no. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you have not already and stay tuned for my next video, y'all. A young boy being a dream. And in the dream...